hello guys welcome to how to fix sack in this video guys we are going to reset the windows 11 without losing any data there are many advantages of resetting your pc if your pc is not running good some software is crashing on your windows or your system is lacking hanging so you can reset your pc but before reset your pc keep the personal file into the pc but it's recommended to backup your data so only c drive is going to format so you can put the data inside your D drive okay so I will show you the whole process of resetting my this PC okay so as you can see here I have videos and software let me show you the software here fs.cpl but all the software will be deleted or will be wiped out from here only the Microsoft Edge browser will remain and it will automatically reinstall once we reset our PC other software all the software will be deleted from our windows okay but videos and other thing like files and folder will be remain same so ms office is also going to reset or also going to format from here let's start without wasting our time so i will show you two method to reset our pc okay so first of all go to windows search bar tap the reset and click on reset this pc after that reset this PC just click on that reset this PC okay and you will see here two options keep my files keep my files I have I will already told you that personal data will be saved but you can still back up into D drive okay and remove everything will remove all the apps including the all the like videos and files as well okay but this will remove only apps and setting but keeps your personal files okay so I'm choosing this option click on that and you will see getting things ready now you will see here two options cloud download and local reinstall so what are the basic you know difference between those first we will talk about the cloud download cloud download will reinstall the windows from internet and from the Microsoft server or the Microsoft website okay and local reinstall will reinstall locally from your C drive from your windows existing windows so we are going to choose this option local reinstall we don't need any data but cloud download 4 GB at least we need okay additional setting click on next and this will show us what is going to deleted here okay you can see view apps that will be removed you can see here these I have installed inside my windows so all the uh, apps will be deleted click on back and click on reset once you click on reset your PC is going to reset and, and it will take one to two hours maybe more than that so this is the first step to reset the PC so in the second method if your PC is not bootable you are not able to boot your PCs so we can do the same thing from there from the advanced options so let me go to the system and I will make the video with my phone so guys this is my laptop and if you are not able to access your PC like this you need to shut down your system two to three times to reset your PC from the advanced options okay so I will show you how to reset your PC with the advanced option so let me re uh, shut down it so that I can show you the proper way if you are not able to access the PC and want to reset basically you need to shut down your system two to three times as soon as the window loads and there thereafter you will see the diagnosing your pc and then advanced options okay so let me turn it on and as soon as the window loads i need to hold the power key okay like this just press the power key so that it will shut down properly now now you can release it gently and then again press the power key and again repeat the same process two to three times okay now window is loading now just shut it down again okay now the third time the diagnostic PC should come and if you get it don't do anything now and you can also hold the shift key and then click on restart if you are able to access the PC normally okay now you need to just do not do anything now just leave it 
preparing automatic repair options this is the option which we want it now the diagnostic PC will come up okay here is okay here is the option which we want it whatever option you are getting here just click on see repair options or at the advanced options click on troubleshoot and then click on reset this PC and you will see here two options okay one is keep my files and remove everything so keep my files would remove apps and setting but keep your personal data I have already told you the same options remove everything will remove all the things I'm choosing keep my files and it will again you can see local reinstall just open that and it's going to reset now just wait for some time I will show you also once the reset is done in my PC okay and you can see reset now reset process is started now just plug in the charger so let me plug in the charger here I'm pausing the video and I will show you in a middle so it's now 35% it's now 79 percent okay it's now installing nine percent so guys in this stage you don't need to do anything just leave it plug in the charger and your computer might restart it several times so it's now 64 percent so let me pause it again and then i will show you it's 98 percent now so finally the computer has restarted and it was stuck on 98% so I kept waiting so guys as you can see here my fresh window 11 is here and it took almost two and a half hours so let me sign in the Wi-Fi is all automatically connected here and you can see the same user account I have even I have reset my PC so this is the benefit of resetting the PC you can see all the you know configurations users and the password saved will be remain same when you choose the keep your personal files now it's creating the new profile here but the same password was working fine this might take a few minutes please keep your PC on and plugged in see all the videos are here as you can see here okay I have already shown you all the video before starting the video as well as the setup is also here all the drivers and if I go to D drive here see okay all the data is as it is inside the D drive and in the C drive you can see the same folder is also here it means that the data is not deleted and you can see windows.old file is created here let me show you the programs and features you can see as I have already told you that only the few software is remain here Microsoft is and the other Microsoft Word Lab okay so this is how guys you can reset your Windows 11 to factory default settings so hope this video is useful for you if yes then don't forget to like this video subscribe my channel so thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech